Today, I'm going to show you my fire alarm demo board. So, it could be a fire alarm demo than I thought. So, basically, I have my Simplex fire alarm pull station connected to my Simplex 4906-9151 SmartSync Truler speaker strobe. Um, but we're going to go ahead and see how it's supposed to work. So, as you can see, this kind of pull station can have, like, this kind of dual action part. So, so some kind of pulse stations can be dual action or single action. I mean double action or true double action. So a dual action is you need like the one you can push in and pull it down. But this one is actually true double action pulse station. The one you can like break the glass. Break the glass and pull it down. But actually different. But... I don't ha I don't have any glass on it because I broke the glass like um two weeks ago I might say. All right. So so some simplex that they're made they're made in um like a twenty five years ago I'm not sure, but um. Alright guys, so, so, somebody who made this fire alarm, so some kind of fire alarms, um, came out in, in 1970 and 1979, like, which is kind of very old, I believe, so, as you can see, Simplex came out, like, 20 years ago, I'm not, I mean, 33 years ago, I'm not sure, and usually some, so kind, some, some kind of pull stations, this one's actually made from the 1900s, and this one also, but, yeah, so I'm gonna look in the inside just a little bit more, but don't worry, it won't set it off. But the inside, you have the button, and as you can see, I put two screws in the pole station. See that? Do you see the wires? Now, normally they work. Now they're working, and the wires coming up through the speaker strobe. So, yeah. And the handle, spring-loaded. So, so to reset your pulse station, or your simplex pulse station, make sure you get your, um, focus. There you go, simplex B key. So get your simplex B key if you need to reset it. Okay? So, but, um, yeah. Alright, so as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and pull the fire alarm now. Connect the batteries. We're going to go ahead and connect them to its own actual fire alarm speaker strobe. Why not? Okay. Alright, speaker strobe ready. Let's do this. No glass. I might go ahead and pull it. Pull the fire alarm and set off the speaker strobe. Three, two, one.
So, that's really interesting, I thought. So, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and pull the fire alarm again. But, as you can see, don't worry, the speaker, the speaker won't go off. But, as you can see, the strobe is flashing very fast. So, so if you if you pull the fire alarm, look what happens. This groove right there is actually smooth. No, it might be thick. Yeah, I was I was trying to do this so I can pull it correctly. Okay, and. So right here, your lock is on the middle of fire alarm. The basic. The basics. There's the inside. And, yeah. Okay, Siemens voice evacuation message. But, fire alarm demo. So, as you can see, let the knocker and just pull it down. Do it like its own actual fire alarm, but here we go. Okay, let me set the pole station. Yes, and also the strobe. Oh, there you go. The strobe didn't... I thought the strobe didn't work, but now it just flashed. Alright, so... Step the key and open it again. you see the inside. The button's in the inside, and you have the handle. And we might go ahead and like do it again that now. Siemens voice evacuation message. Without further ado, here we go. Silence the system already. Now let's go ahead and reset it. There you go. Wait, did it just did it just flash? I already closed the pulse station even though even though that the fire alarm did did its own flash. But now now I actually just shut off the strobe. Okay? Let's do it again. This time with another voice evacuation message. Alright guys, so Please don't copyright Exit Sign 250, but I, I had your voice on the speaker now. But, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and pull the fire alarm and play, play it. But here we go. 3, 2, 1. Oh, you got to beat your 12, guys. Yes, he he has a simplex T bar. Like I have a simplex T bar right here, the one I already wired up. Another BG twelve. Do you really have to say that? Yep. Please don't copyright me, but. Let's play it. Let's do it again. Please don't copyright me.
Yeah, he got a silver notifier post station. But no, I have a simplex T-bar right there. But this is what he said for during the video. But really cool. And as you can see, now I have music coming out through the speaker. So basically, if I pull the fire alarm, the speaker will play, play the music. I might go ahead and do it now. You know, guys, that song was a little bit... So, this song was a little bit fire, and I thought. I can tell you that. Seems the strobe doesn't work. Seems that the strobe doesn't work. Let me, let me go ahead and test it again. Yeah, it actually stopped. I don't know why it does that. But why not? Alright guys, now, now I'm going to show you the, another music on the speaker. Like, really cool. But, let's go ahead and play the Iron Man song. And yes, the strobe doesn't work. I have to go ahead and reset it. Yes, you guys hear the electric guitar on this. It's fire. Okay, so as you can see, that music was a little bit fire. But let me go ahead and, like, change the the tone. I mean, let me go ahead and change the volume on this one. The speaker's a little bit low. Yeah, why is the Iron Man song playing? Yeah, because I just, like, put the volume very loudly so I can, like, change the tones of it. But for now, I must go ahead and, like... And... It must work. Okay, I, as you can see, I think I wired up the strobe correctly. There you go. There you go. It works. It worked now. I guess I didn't wire it correctly. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Now the strobe keeps going slowing down. But let me go ahead and connect them. Now I can play music in that. But for some reason. And please don't copyright me. Please. Please don't copyright it. It's not going to be copyrighted. But I don't care. But let's do it. Hurry up. Oh there you go. You're going you're gonna to hear the drumsticks on this one first. And then you're going to hear the guitar playing too. They're really simple. The heck? Yeah, the, the strobe doesn't work. Yeah, that strobe really doesn't work. 
It was still working like a minute ago. Now it stopped. Like, I don't know why. But as you can see, the strobe has a little bit of problem. He had a problem. But, um... But I'm trying to fix the strobe, but it doesn't work. I don't know why he does that. But, yeah, the, pro the, the problem might be that the strobe doesn't work. It might be, it might be a low battery, I guess. Alright, so the music keeps playing. Oops, we'll go ahead and do it again. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be pulling it, but as you can see, if I pull the fire alarm, the strobe will not work, so I'm not gonna do that. But let me go ahead and play it. It was like that, like, that song was a little bit fire than I thought, but we're going to go ahead and put all the batteries away in the fire alarm board. We're going to, like, keep it. You have a little bit of problems with the speaker and all that. The parts are not working. Oops. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I kind of was like this music, but I think that's it of this fire alarm board demo of it. But thank you guys for watching. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe.